So I've been quietly testing a completely new way to trade that has been working very well for me and I've been quiet about it up to this point. And later in this video, I'm gonna briefly walk you through it, but I wanted to do this in two parts so that you guys get a full understanding of the strategy, how I execute it, and how it has such a high win rate, at least for me. So before I get, go any further, I wanna kind of explain to you where I'm at, my journey, and what's been happening. So as you know, with the whole MFF situation, that really has created a ripple in the market. And though I wasn't funded with them, I had quite a few accounts that were in phase two that were very close to being funded. And when that whole situation happened, that set me back a bit. So with that said, I'm now trading my personal capital and that is my main focus right now. I do have a couple other prop challenges currently about to enter phase two with a couple other prop firms. So I'll also keep you guys updated in that. But while you're here, because I wanted to share with you how I've been trading, and this is such an awesome strategy. I have been keeping it to myself lately because I didn't really want to share it with you guys until I was really sure of it, until I had that forward testing. Because, you know, you can back test and back test, but you're just never really knowing back testing because you never know what you're going to do in the market's exact moment. And that exact moment could be based on macroeconomics. It could be based on how the market's moving on the current day. It can be based on what you see in that moment and even how you feel in that moment. So for me, forward testing says it all. So let's head over to the charts. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I'm going to briefly explain it right now. And then I'll do a second part where I get into a lot of detail that'll be coming after this video. So make sure you look for that. But for right now, let's walk through the very basics over on the charts. So stay with me. Let's head over there now. All right, guys, now we're here at the charts. I'm going to share with you this really, really easy, simple mechanical strategy, at least in my personal experience, it's 99% mechanical, at least for me, that um, I've been using to execute trades. So really simple, I'm going to trade off of the EURUSD only, and I'm going to pull up my higher time frame analysis quickly, and then I'll get into the analysis and how I enter a trade, how I place my stop loss, and how this has been working for me. So the first thing I do is pop out to the weekly to see if we have any major levels. And I did draw that up today. I did draw that up today right here. So we have a wick. I want to mark off these wick areas. Now, today already happened and this already came down. So I did have this marked up prior to the start of the day. All right. Now I'm going to jump down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, what I generally do is I draw up fair value gaps. So this is not a video about fair, uh, about fair value gaps, but let me just quickly share with you what that looks like. So this is an example of one right here. If you see this wick right here, I'll circle it, one there and then one here. You could draw a fair value gap right in this area like so. And everything in between right here would then end up being the gap, this right here. And you're looking for price to come into these levels and have some type of reaction. That generally speaking is a fair value gap. So let me go ahead now and get into the strategy here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bar replay this back to about eight o'clock in the morning, or we'll start at nine. Um, I'm trading this from 10 a.m. until noon. And then I'll get into all the rules and details here when, um, uh, when I drop down to the lower time frames here. So here we are, we're at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, this is at the close of the 8 a.m. bar at the start of 9 a.m. All right, at this point in time, I'm gonna drop down to the one minute chart and then I'll share with you what I'm looking for. Now, I've been forward testing this for approximately a month and it has been giving me a super high win rate. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that's gonna work for you. This is just simply what is working for me. And again, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not advice. Okay, this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Trading is risky, you can lose all your money. So let's go ahead and move forward now. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna trade in the window of 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's my window, that's it, nothing less, nothing more, just a simple two hour session, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my times out here. So we'll start at 10 a.m. and we'll drag this over to 12 p.m. noon. And then we'll drag this one over to 10 a.m., okay? All right, this is my trading window. Prior to this, let's just bump price up here a bit so we can get right to it. So prior to this, I'm gonna draw off another area and that's gonna be from midnight Eastern, that's important, midnight Eastern, all the way up to 10 a.m. Eastern, which we already have marked off. 
So what I'm looking for here, I'm going to then draw in my highs right here during this window right here during the 12 or uh, during the 12 a.m. Eastern to 10 a.m. Eastern time frame and my lows. So I've marked these off. All right. Really on a really basic level, what I'm looking for is a sweep of these levels and then a confirmation for a reversal trade off of these levels. That is it. Nothing more. It doesn't get any easier than that. But I'm going to share with you what I use and what confluences I use that tend to get me a better win rate doing this. All right. My target is just 15 pips. That is it. Nothing more. I'm done. Yes, this is a one to one strategy for me, but it works very, very well for me personally. All right. So let me go ahead and play price forward a bit here so you can see what happens immediately when this opens up. We come down here. All right. On the 10 a.m. candle. When this happened this morning, I moved my line or my bar down here because this was the close of the 10 a.m. I'm looking for a sweep of this level, which we got. Now I'm looking for a long trade because we swept, we swept this level. All right. I want to also note that on the higher time frames with this particular strategy. All right. If we zoom out here. All right. This purple line here, I'm going to make it red instead so you can see it a bit clearer. All right, let's go with the uh, horizontal line. All right, because this was a major, major weekly low, if you remember. All right, so there's likely, we're likely to have some kind of reaction here. Now, my trade did not sit up here, but I just want to make you aware of that, or at least I was aware of it. All right, so this down here is the Vu Manchu indicator, and I'm using this for divergences. Uh, divergences. That's all this is. It's a sweep of a level and then a and then a, um, a confirmation looking at divergence. Now, I know divergence can be very subjective in how you draw it, but this tool is going to make it so that you can't mess this up. OK, you literally can't mess this up if you follow this video and watch how I do this. All right. So the tool down here is the Vu Manchu. You can go to indicators. You can find it just like this Vu Manchu. It's a Cypher B divergences. The settings for this particular tool, I only have this clicked off to show wave trend. There's nothing else checked. This is all you need. All right. I'm going to be marking off two areas here. I have two red lines, one at the top positive 70, one at the bottom negative 70. All this represents is I'm looking for divergences in oversold or overbought areas, and I'm not paying attention to it unless we reach those levels. All right. This helps me, or at least this gives me a higher probability of finding a trade that's more likely to reverse or go in my favor. All right. So we'll start down here. Divergence for me is simple. All it means is what I'm looking, all it means what I'm is that what I'm looking for is price going in opposite di uh, directions. I don't care if it's coming together or splitting apart. I just want these two to be moving in opposite directions. OK, so we'll play this forward here bar by bar so you can see it. All right. The green dot here would represent where I might buy. All right. And that's where I'm going to connect the dots to draw my divergence or convergence. All right. It did not happen here. So let me play this forward here to show you where it happens. All right. Nothing yet, because down here at the bottom, we didn't touch any of the oversold or overbought levels here. All right. So we'll continue forward here. We're still within my trading session. Keep in mind between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern. All right. OK, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Still nothing. All right. Right here, things get a little interesting as the Euro USD was coming down today. We already swept this level. It shot up now. I'm not interested in any trades in this area because I want to see this level get taken first with divergence so that that gives me that confluence to take a long here. All right. So as this comes forward here. All right. We had the first green dot at the bottom that showed up. Now I'm looking for some kind of divergence. If you don't know what that looks like, what I want to see here is take this green dot right here because it crossed the red line and I'm going to connect it to the next green dot that shows. All right. Then I want to come up here to the price action. I want to find out where that green dot started, perhaps draw a vertical line like so. All right. And then I want to take my trend line and draw this down here. All right. Do you see how here in this example? All right. Price is coming or at least the Vu Manchu wave is coming up and price is coming down. That's a form of divergence. All right. But this is not where I entered the trade. And I'm not saying this happens like this. Let's play a few bars forward to see what happens. OK, so if I as I come forward here, I'm waiting for that green dot. I'm still waiting for a green dot. All right. Price hasn't taken this low yet. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. All right. 
So when we get here, I see a green dot. I'm not entering the trade right here. Why? Because there is not yet divergence. The reason being, if you look at this here, right here, all right, this is pretty flat down here. All right, it's about like that. And price down here from green dot, the green dot is coming down. All right, I don't want this to be flat. I want this to be going the opposite direction of price like that. Okay, so let me remove this and I'll play a few bars forward so you can see that. All right, here we go. Price is coming down. Now we're taking out these lows. Now I'm getting really interested in this particular setup. All right, what I'm waiting for is a green dot there. I got it on that push up. Now let's take a look at this here. Green dot to green dot. All right. We have a slight angle up and if we to move this over to green dot to green dot we'll just move this vertical line over so you can see it literally green dot right there to green dot here all right there is my divergence this is a powerful confluence in any trade so i take my position here all right and then i move my stop about seven to ten pips below i wanted my stop below this weekly low right here so about 15 pips give or take and again, like I said earlier in the video, my target is 15 pips, okay? And then let's play this forward. Let's see what happens. Price bounces around a bit, comes up, and eventually right there, I get my trade, my simple one-to-one, -one, my win for the day. I'm done. It's noon. I go on about my day. I enjoy my day. I don't sit here, stress about trades, think about trading. I just get on with my day, and that is it. And then I wait, for, I wait until tomorrow for the next session. So, guys... Um, I share with you one example here in part two. I'm going to do many more. Um, I may even decide to go live just to share this with you guys, answer questions, hang out, do the whole do the whole thing there. But I wanted to share how simple this is and how easy this tool is to draw divergences. You literally cannot mess up drawing divergence if you're doing it this way. Because I know for me personally, when people are like, oh, yeah, trade divergence, you know, use divergence as a confluence. I always knew it was very powerful, but I was like, well, where, where do I draw my divergence? You know, is the is it, it is it here? OK. All right. Is it back further? You know, I didn't know I didn't know where to connect this for proper divergence. And now using the Vu Manchu indicator like this, I now can do that uh, from a very mechanical standpoint. And that's just awesome for me. I love this. But anyhow, I wanted to share. I wanted to uh, share this with you guys, and um, I hope you learned something in this video here. I got part two coming where I'll share more trades that I took. Um, and again, I talked about going live and may decide to do that um, if I get a setup here tomorrow. So we'll wait and see. I do have a free Telegram where I'm sharing trade setups, ideas, and what I'm doing on a regular basis there. If you want to join that, the link is down below. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and happy trading.